turning ball inside to McCowan. This is good play from Celtic down the right hand side. Cross, great chance, and it's the opening goal for Celtic. Completely unmarked at the back post was Luis Palma. Some rounds of applause, some booze. <laughs> <laughs> Eight and a half minutes gone, and it's Sligo Rovers nil. Celtic one. That was very good play, you know, one touch stuff and they get into the good area and we talked about the crosses coming across, making sure bodies get in the box. It's even important at this level, you have to do that. But it's, I think it's Yang that puts the ball in, and yes it is. It's young Francis Tubble that went to the front post, I'm, I'm sure he broke into the box there. And Lewis Palmer does what he should do, his manager talks about getting people in at the back post, the opposite wide man, so it's one wide man cross and the other wide man's going. So first blood to Celtic in the opening nine minutes. One ball forward from Bayet, it's a good one. Palmer onto that first time, the left foot, head up, comes in there from Yang, brave to throw his body at that one. Almost found the back of the net, so Celtic coming close to doubling their lead. Careless in the middle of the park there, and Celtic and Sligo Rovers have men forward. Pierce is there, the shot comes in. It's a decent effort, and it's in. Well, I really thought Scott Bain had saved that one. Yeah, I'd be very disappointed. Yeah, Nick Ten. Yeah, I'd be very disappointed. Yeah, I think it was Caelan Barlow. He's in there with a the shot. But Scott Bain would be very disappointed. I don't know where he's thought. I'll push it over, I'll I, catch it. I think he was He's in two minds. minds yeah. I think you're right, Peter. He seemed to be in two minds. Initially, he went to catch it, then he thought he would just tip it over the bar. And by that point, he'd taken the complete sting out of the ball and it dropped under the bar. Kellis in the midfield again. Dolby. Sligo Rovers coming forward, the Celtic players coming back. Shot from distance, and it's another goal. Power in the shot that time. And it beats Scott Bain at his near post. And Celtic have gone from looking very comfortable and a goal ahead to now being 2-1 behind. coming forward again, Will Fitzgerald across the face of the goal ball comes in from the left, shouts for a penalty kick waved away, no VAR here tonight thank god <laughs> Sligo Rovers still have it though Aaron Morahan on the right hand side, Conor Malley plays it in, a real chance for a third goal for the home side it was a point blank shot there from Luke Pearce and uh, Scott Bain stood his ground and made the block well. Free kick to the home side. And it comes from Power. Well, he knew exactly what he was doing that time because he's already scored from that kind of shot. Tried to keep it down, tried to use the, the soft surface. Not a bad effort either. But it's very good save because it's hit at pace. Welsh can pass inside to Turley. Palmer involved in a lot of play in the second half. Into the area, Francis Turley, Mitchell Robertson wants it. First time ball in is a good one. Near post header there. It's it's just passed, yeah. I thought he scored actually, but you know it was a fantastic ball and good play again. Palmer, outside of the foot cross that he likes so much. McCowan finds it. Oh, it's off the line. What a save that was. What a clearance from the defender. Unbelievable. That has beaten the goalkeeper all ends up. Bit of curl on it, bit of power. What a defensive clearance on the line. Celtic 
win the ball back well. McEwen. No, now's a chance. Yang lifts that one but lifts it too much. No, I think that's the best chance for Celtic in this second half. It was through on goal. Snyder Rovers and a little bit of fortune. Pulling the ball out of defence. No. A chance here. A rare chance in that second half. And Scott Bain makes his first save of the second half to prevent the home side from going two ahead. Yes, absolutely. It was very good playing the fullback area. It showed great feet. And they brought Grunt. He's got to be happy with that. 1v1 goalkeeper always delighted if they can make a save. Scorer chance now, it's a Guzzo, and there again another example of the Sligo Rovers players just determined to keep the lead, throwing their bodies in front of that shot. Celtic still have it though. Good cross, great chance, and it is the equaliser in the final minute. Luis Palmer coming in at the back post. He's brilliant player, I think it's young McCardell actually. I think it does excellent. And as he talked about lifting it to the back post, and fair play to Lewis Palmer, he's going to the back post again. It's a, listen, he'll be delighted, he knows it's a friendly match. But two goals. Yeah, as young Ricardo makes a run. It's important, but he shows a lovely bit of skill here because he's easy to put it back to Yang, but he doesn't. He goes for the ball to the back post and picks out Palmer fantastically well. And as I say, great judge, I'm going to the back post. Second, added on minute. Yang has it on the right hand side for Celtic. Plays it inside, gets the return pass. It's a Guzzo. Oh, a real chance for a third goal, and Celtic have snatched it late on. And Luis Palma turns two into three. And from looking like it was going to be a defeat, Luis Palma now becomes a hat trick hero and has a third goal. That's what Celtic do, pal, you've got to keep going. And that'll please the manager more than anything else. They've kept going, they've kept plugging away. And here you've just got to win. You know, I keep saying that, you know, but it's young. And this is a guzzo. It's a guzzo, yeah. Does fantastically well. And a great ball across. But a fantastic, not an easy finish, but a fantastic finish. <laughs> 